So now uh, we'll start by creating a schema for our form and we'll be making use of Zod. Zod is um, a very nice library lightweight for creating our schema and also it will give us nice error messages. So if we actually come to shard cn right here and search for form, uh, you'll get a guide, a nice guide on how we'll go about uh, creating our form using React hook form and we'll also use Zod. So right here, if I scroll down, uh, you'll see that uh, generally our form will look like this. A form field will have controls, name, render. At render will be passing like a function here. And then we'll be passing a form item. We'll be passing similar stuff like this. And if I continue scrolling, you'll see how we can get started with using uh, the form. We will install it using shardcn like this. So I'll go ahead and copy this command like that. I'll pop uh, the terminal here and I'll actually go ahead and perform that installation. So it will install even a uh, Zod uh, when we do this. Uh, I'll stop this server for Prisma Studio and I'll run this command to install our form. And now from here, you'll see that we will import Zod like this. Then we will create a form schema like this. And here we'll also have a Zod resolver and use form from React hook form. And uh, after the form schema, we will now start working on our form and we will add the types to the form using Zod. So this is use form from React hook form. Then right here, we are using Zod uh, right here to add the form schema type, which was also created with Zod. Also, we'll be having the resolver like this and we'll be adding some default values. So this is where we'll actually now create this form uh, object, which will be having all the types. Then we'll be having an on submit function like this. So this is a general uh, nice guide right here, uh, which you can follow in case you don't understand anything that I'll be doing. So now that we have this uh, form installed, we will create our form schema. So right here, I'll just say a uh, const form schema will be equal to z dot object so generally the form will be uh, an object and i'll invoke that and we need to bring in zod and we'll say import uh, all as z from uh, zod so when we installed the form it also installed zod okay so that's why we are able to do this now right here form schema z dot object it expects us to actually pass an object in here. Okay, now you see that error disappears. And right here now, we will add the types uh, for everything that we mentioned at Prisma Schema. So right here, what I'll do, I'll minimize everything. I'll go to Prisma, Schema.Prisma. And from here, I'll actually highlight all this. So what we will do, we'll use a nice uh, trick on VS Code to copy all these properties because I don't want to type them. So what you can do, you can click right here in front of ID, then you hit on Alt, and then you'll click in front, just in front here of every other property, okay? So we'll go ahead and click on all of these just like that. So we will not click added art and updated art. Also, we will not click rooms and bookings. We'll just add these ones, the one that we'll be adding at the hotel, okay? Now hit on shift and then on your keyboard, you'll hit on the home key. I don't know if you have home key, you must have one. So if I click on home key, you'll see that it will select all those properties like that. And what I'll do now, I'll hit control copy and I'll go to our add form right here and I'll actually paste them here. And look, we now have all those properties right here. The only thing that we need to do is to add the types. We don't need the ID. These will be auto-generated, so remove ID. Also, when filling out the form, we will not be having a field for user ID that we'll get from Clark. So we need these ones which will be filling out manually. Now right here, I'll say z dot string. Uh, we invoke that and we'll set a minimum. So we'll say min right here will be three. Then uh, you'll say comma and we can have an error message here. 
which will be displayed in case the title is less than three characters. Just like that. So we will be using a similar structure. So I can just copy this. Then I'll come right here for description. I'll paste it. We will say a uh, 10 like that. A uh, description must be uh, at least 10 characters wrong. So this is complaining because we missed a comma here. So I'll include that comma. Then also here we'll be having a comma. I'll copy this together with the comma now. The image here will set a, a minimum of one. This will be an image link in form of a string. So if we don't have at least one character, we'll say that image is required. Then we have country. We'll also say a similar thing as image. So this is a selector where we'll be selecting country. Country is mandatory. Our state and city is not a must. So here we'll say, just like that, we have state. So state and city will actually be optional. Okay. So for those, we'll say Z dot string. Then we will invoke that. And at the end here, we will say dot optional. And we invoke that as well. Then I'll include a comma. The city will be optional as well. Therefore, I'll just paste like that. We have location description, which uh, should be something like the description for this one. So I'll copy this one and I'll come right here and I'll actually paste it. Now we have these amenities. So for the amenities, there will be optional booleans. So right here, I'll say z.boolean. Uh, we invoke it and right here, we'll say dot. Uh, optional we invoke that as well then we include a comma let's copy this line uh, we can copy even the full colon right here we copy we come to this and we paste we come to this we paste uh, laundry we paste restaurant we paste all these are amenities which will be having check boxes just uh, like that movie nights swimming pool coffee shop and we are done now with creating our form schema using Zod. I'll go ahead and save and it will nicely be formatted by Pritia. Ah, very nice. Now, the next step, if we check at Shad CN here, is to actually uh, make use of the use form hook uh, from React hook form. So we'll do something like this right here. I will copy this form right here. So I will copy. And you'll see how it looks like. I come back here at the very beginning, I'll paste it. So it complains of use form. So this use form will come from React hook form. So control space and you'll import that from React hook form. Okay. Just like that. Then it complains of Zod resolver, control space and bring that in from, um, I think, at hooks resolver. So I imported that from uh, hook form resolvers Zod. Okay. So what happened right here? We called z.infer type of form schema. Now this form schema is what we have defined right here. Now our use form, our React hook form will make use of these types from Zod. Uh, to check our values, okay? And now right here for the default values, they must be the same as all these that we added right here. So we need to add all those default values. And uh, I think we'll do a similar thing that we did right here. Mine is still selected. So all I need to do is to copy all those values, come back right here, and right here we will specify the default values, okay? For ID and user ID, we remove those. So right here, select at the end of title, then alt. So for title, description, image, country, state, city, and location, all those will be empty uh, strings. I add a full colon, and then right here, I use uh, an empty string. Then at the very end, I'll use a comma. So all those now are sorted. And then the others will be booleans. So by default, all of them will be false. So right here, 
I click on gym and then alt spa bar foundry restaurant shopping free parking bike rental free wi-fi movie night swimming and coffee shop we use a full colon and then space then we will say a uh, false then a comma and all of those will also be sorted and i save and now we have created the default values just like that now we have this form so after creating the form down here we will actually now have this on submit function so i can just copy it just like that and this is the on submit function we have values z.infer type of form schema so these values must be the type of form schema which we defined with zod then here we will be submitting the values to our uh, api or basically we save them to the database so right now we are just logging the value to the console and i'll save that